disciplinary committee doesn't care about that. Professor Manstein is probably preparing for this year's Day of Liberty. I don't think it's appropriate either. But she said that she doesn't want me to pay for a single room. She let it be known that she would rather set up camp in the park. The train strike is going to last a whole week? Can't our college do something? If there's a need, I'll pay for your room as well. Banzai Senpai! Senpai, reading is great, but how about sitting down while doing it? You can also practice your standing pose. I stand for half an hour every night because it's good for my spine. I do recommend it. Never mind. Finger would die laughing. From earth to heaven, then descend from heaven itself. Combine the powers of both above and below to attain the glory of the world. To keep away from darkness and ignorance. Newton's actual words were a bit more complex. You can also translate it as, it rises from earth to the heavens and again it descends back to earth, receiving the force from things above and below. You shall have the glory of the world and shall banish all darkness. Hmm. I believe the key to understanding this sentence is figuring out what it stands for. It means materials used for alchemy. In other words, metals or other matter used for burning. It could also be the spirit. There has been little progress on this theory since 1972. But last year, a new paper was published on this subject. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Chevy, why are you standing by the wall too? The Emerald Tablet. Did you not pick Chemical Alchemy, Lu Senpai? It's an incomplete chapter from a dragon tome. Interpretations differ, though, because it's so hard to understand. What? Dragon Raja, Dragon Raja, Dragon Raja! She's from our preparation program, and she's taken the 3E exam already. So she's aware of the existence of the dragons. Her talent is A, an outstanding score. Preparatory? Preparatory what? It's the college's secret branch in China. It finds talented students to have them take the 3E exam. Shock, female. Entered the college's preparation course while still in high school and passed the 3E exam with flying colors. Family members include parents and an older brother. What's this, invasion of the privacy snatchers? Eva sent me the data. We needed to know your identity. My computer is on the coffee table. Luminous, pass it to Shavi for me. What do I have to run errands? I haven't finished my homework yet. You're kidding me! Is this a photo of you? Great alternative style. I am so not into that whole alternative style thing. I was cosplaying Haruhi Suzumiya for the Anime Society. To cosplay Haruhi Suzumiya? I wanted to cosplay Mikuru Asahina. Asahina? <laughs> But they all made fun of me, saying that I didn't have the goods. I hate those horrible busty girls! They were so mean to me! <laughs> I, I'm sorry. If Tai Chi means the spirit, then above and below actually mean the different spiritual realms. One dragon, one human. That works too. It describes the journey of self-fulfillment as a human transforms into a dragon. The translation you used was, Tai Chi went from earth to heaven, then descended from heaven itself. Thus he absorbed the powers of both above and below. Thus you attain the glory of the world and keep away from ignorance. The way you read it, if humans can turn into dragons, then why would he need to return to the human world? The author wanted to keep away from ignorance. I don't understand. 
Why then did he descend from heaven itself, going from earth to heaven? That surely is the ultimate goal of any alchemist. From earth to heaven, from heaven to earth, creation sure is amazing, amazing to me, amazing to me, amazing to me, la 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 la. There's a set of scales between heaven and earth, and its weights are the common people. Uh, how could this happen? How did your academic discussion ever turn into karaoke singing? But I was trying to include you in the conversation. Tell me, do you know the theme song to Barba Papa? I seem to recall. I can't tell, senpai. 